what's up guys? This is Coach Chris with Alien Training. Welcome back to another week. This week we're all about scapular exercises, okay? Specifically scapular depression and retraction. Those are two really big weak areas on a lot of people, okay? Now remember your scapular depression is going to come from your lower traps and rhomboids and your retraction comes from those, tr from those middle traps, rhomboids, all the way through, okay? And remember your retraction is going to combine your extension as well. So the specific exercise that we're going to do for your scapular depression, uh, there's static scapular depression and then there's uh, just concentric scapular depression. I'll show you these two first. This is your most basic scapular depression exercise. You just want to sit with your legs out, shoulders back. Take your fists. I like to supinate them just a little bit just so you can make sure that the external rotation occurs in the scapula. Okay, and you're going to supinate and then lock out your elbows and just push down, trying to make your neck as long as possible. Make sure that the hips are under the chest, the posture is correct, chest is up, shoulders back, and you're gonna hold this 15, 20 seconds, keeping the elbows locked and pushing down through the shoulders. So you don't wanna see this, you want them to stay as high as they can, pushing down through their shoulders, okay? And then from there, you can turn into the concentric contractions, going up and down. See if you can get 20 of them. All right, and then from there to get the concentric contractions in the retraction as well as the depression, you're going to do hip swings. So a hip swing, you're going to lock it out and swing it back under, staying through that depression. So retract and depress. Retract and depress. You can even hold it at the top, five, four, squeezing through those shoulder blades, three, two, and then hold it, five, four, three, two, one. One. All right, so that's the first one. <clears throat> that's the beginning stage. This next exercise is a scapular pull-up. These are a little bit tougher. I'm going to show you a couple variations that are going to engage your core. Your lower uh, abdominals and your scapular depression are two big uh, synergists. They go hand in hand. So you're going to feel this in the lower core as well as in that scapular depression, okay? So first thing you need to do is find a good pull-up bar. I like to do these on a close grip. And you're going to hang and then depress through the shoulder blades in that one movement. From there, pull your knees up and you can hold this. 20 seconds, okay, your next variation is just the knee tuck. Keeping that scapular depression, tuck those knees, okay? The next variation is a hip rotation. Try to keep your torso as still as possible. Go slow to make sure your pelvis stays tucked. That's important, see how my back's flat? There's no curve in my back, okay? You have to tuck that pelvis using your lower abs and maintain scapular depression. Chest should stay real still. All right, and then the advanced version. This is a pretty advanced version. We're gonna go through a isometric pull down and it's gonna engage the lats as well and then we're gonna take those knees to your elbows. Okay, so you're gonna go here, hold that static isometric lat pull down and then take your knees to your elbows. All right. That one's fun, that one's a little bit tougher. All right, and now here is where it all comes together. This exercise is a pretty awesome exercise. It's called a swiper. All right, now this exercise is gonna combine everything we just did into one movement. All right, so you start here in a bridge, a full bridge. Make sure your hands are turned out and you're gonna take your contralateral side, okay? Your right leg and your left arm and swing through and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, return, squeeze, and switch. Five, four, three, two, one, and return. All right, now there's a few variations. You can do it like that, holding it each side for five seconds. Three, two, one, okay? Or you can just do a, a full isometric contraction and just hold one position for 30 seconds and then switch sides. And then when they get real good and they're conditioned for it, Work for some speed. So here and here. You can add ankle weights. You can add small weights in the hands. Mix it up based on your client's levels and ability. All right, now this is a great exercise. Implement this in your programs for personal training, boot camp. Uh, you can use this for anybody who's just looking to increase their core strength. This is a great, great exercise for anybody. All right, All right guys, do me a favor. If you like this video, like us on Facebook, it's a button below. If you wanna see more, you can sign up right now for $1, all right? And you'll get access to our monthly 
uh, all, of our, all of our videos. 50, it was over 50 hours of archived videos. After that, it's $19.95 a month, but it's $1 to start right now, so you want to take advantage of this opportunity. You'll get weekly videos from me and over 50 hours up front with Ryan, Brian, and myself. Hope you guys liked it. We'll see you soon.